hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here we apply the law of indices a raised to power m plus n same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n at this from here this becomes n raised to power x times n square and minus n raised to power x equals to 140 on this side that this here we have n raised to power hex common we factor it out and we have n raised to power hex into brackets n square left here minus one left here which is equals to 140 on this side then from here we have n raised to power hex into bracket n square here n times n that's 81 and minus one Close bracket now equals to 140 from here. That is, here we have n raised to power x times 81 minus 1, that's 80, equals to 140 from here. Then we divide both sides by 80 here, yeah? divide this side by 80, also divide this side by 80, and 80 cancel each other here. Yeah? Which implies we have 9 raised to power x equals to 140 over 80 from here. That is, here we have 9 raised to power x equals to 140 converting as 20 times 7. Then over here we have 20 times 4. That is, 20 cancel each other here. And we have 9 raised to power x equals to 7 over 4 and here we take the log on both sides that is we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 7 over 4 that is from here we apply the power law of logarithm where we have log m raised to power p this is the same thing as p log m that is here we have x log 9 equals to log 7 over 4 here that is next step we divide both side by log 9 and we have this side divided by log 9 also here divided by log 9 which implies log 9 cancel each other here and we have x left which is equals to log 7 over 4 then divide by log 9 and what we have here follows from the law of log medium when we have log a over b is the same thing as log a minus log b that is here we have x equals to log 7 minus log 4 over log 9 then next step we separate this into two fractions that is we have x equals to log 7 over log 9 then minus log 4 over log 9 then next step here we can express 4 as 2 times 2 which is 2 squared and also 9 can be expressed as 3 times 3 which is 3 squared then here what we have becomes x equals to log 7 over log 3 squared then minus here as well we have log 2 squared over log 3 squared then here we apply the power law of logarithm that is here we have x equals to log 7 over 2 log 3 then minus here this becomes 2 log 2 then over 2 log 3 that is from here 2 cancel each other here 
Then what we have becomes x equals 2. We can write this as 1 over 2 times log 7 over log 3. Then minus. Here we have log 2 over log 3. The next step here, we apply change of base. And when we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, here we have x equals to half times log 7 to base 3, then minus log 2 to base 3. So here we have the value of x here as half log 7 base 3 minus log 2 base 3. Now let's check here if this satisfies the given problem. That this we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to half log 7 base 3 minus log 2 base 3. That is what we have becomes 9 raised to power half log 7 base 3 minus log 2 base 3 plus 2 here then also minus 9 raised to power half log 7 base 3 minus log 2 base 3 is equals to 140 on this side that is here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m minus n is same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n and also a raised to power m plus n same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n and when we apply this here what we have here becomes 9 raised to power half log 7 to base 3 divided by 9 raised to power log 2 base 3 then we have times 9 squared here then we have minus also this becomes 9 raised to power half log 7 base 3 then over 9 raised to power log 2 base 3 here yeah, is equal to 140 on this side then when we look at this here yeah, this fraction here is common we can bring it out and put the remaining in bracket that is we factor it and we have here yeah, 9 raised to power half log 7 to base 3 over 9 raised to power log 2 to base 3 now then into bracket here we have 9 square left then minus 1 will be left here then is it equals to 140 on this side that is from here we can rewrite 9 as 3 square then raised to power half log 7 base 3 here then over also here 9 as 3 square then raised to power log 2 base 3 here times what we have here 81 minus 1 that's times 80 is equal to 140 from here then since this power multiplies two cancel each other here then we are left with 3 raised to power log 7 to base 3 then over here this power also multiplies then this becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 80 now is equals to 140 from here then what we have here we reverse this 2 here from power log and what we have of c remain 3 raised to power log 7 base 3 then over here this becomes 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 then times 80 is equals to 140 on this side and what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log 
b to base a which is equals to b that is here yeah, is same thing as seven then over this same thing as two square which is four then times 80 is equals to 140 on this side and here four goes here one and four goes here 20 so we have seven times 20 left is equals to 140 from here and of course seven times 20 here that's 140 which is equals to 140 now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side hence here we can conclude that x equals to half log 7 base 3 minus log 2 base 3 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up put your comments and uh, see you in next class bye for now